Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Deep Belief Network. In this tutorial, I will explain Deep Belief Network's basics and I will also explain how to construct Deep Belief Network through a real life simple data set and I will show all the steps of the construction of Deep Belief Network including some architectural challenges so now let us start with the basics of deep belief network actually deep belief network is a, a generative graphical model it has been presented as a solution of vanishing gradient problem uh, these topics are already covered in our previous video tutorials so i am just considering the basics of deep belief network with uh, some rbm basics useful to describe the deep belief network now a deep belief network generally constructed by stacking of more than one rbm the number of stacking depends upon our requirements and uh, algorithmic or structural demand as we know from our previous example that rbm can extract extract features and reconstruct the inputs these features are very useful in stacking we generally use greedy training approach as the first step of greedy training approach we prepare the first stack of rbm for this we map our input to the visible layers of the first rbm and we map our classes or outcome to the hidden layer of the first rbm we use contrastive divergence method to train this rbm actually training of any rbm machine means training the optimal weights for all these connections we can represent this as w1 matrix after training we can freeze this weight w1 for these connections now we are able to add another stack of rbm so how to do this for this we just add another hidden layer over our previous stack above our previous stack so our old rbm was this after adding this hidden layer we have new rbm machine like this here the hidden layers of our previous rbm acts as input layer for the new rbm now the next part is we can initialize the weight of all those connections by taking the transpose of this matrix and we use the samples of h dash oh sorry of h1 from our p h1 given v as a input to train this new rbm similarly we can add another stack of rbm or third stack of rbm that was our second rbm so in the case of second rbm we again apply contrastive divergence based method to train this rbm and after training we will have optimal weights so we will freeze the matrix which contains these weights and after that 
we become eligible to add another stack this is known as third layer of RBM this third layer can be added by just adding another stack of hidden layers after adding this hidden layer we can construct RBM machine like this here the hidden layers of second RBM acts as input of the third RBM and we can repeat the same process that we can that we did with second RBM after that we apply a fine tuning process to tune all the weights in the connection after that we apply a test phase to test the classes for our inputs now let us discuss the construction stages of deep belief network through a simple example suppose we have a very simple dummy data set to represent the person's interest on game in this table we have taken three games and two classes games are football hockey and chess and classes are out and in we represent out as one in as zero here the class name out represents the outdoor games in represents the indoor game and value one rep means the person like likes that game and zero means person doesn't like that game p1 p2 p3 are person's id as we discussed earlier the deep belief network uses greedy training based approach in this training we use multiple stacks of rbm and we train each stacks of rbm through contrastive divergence based method so before going to start our first rbm and train it by using contrastive divergence based method let us go through a simple look over what is uh, contrastive divergence based method actually in the contrastive divergence based method training by using Gibbs sampling here we take the training data set and set the states of visible unit to the training data set we, uh, after that we apply two different phases first is positive phase and second is negative phase in the positive phase we update the weight states of hidden units and in the negative page we update the weight status of visible units to update the weight status of hidden layer we use this conditional probability here probability of hj equal to 1 given b can be calculated by sigmoid of these functions where bj is the bias associated with hidden unit hj and these are the connections and visible layers product connection weight and visible layer product which are associated directly associated with hj and satisfies this condition in a negative phase we update the weight of visible units by using conditional probability p bi equal to 1 given h by using sigmoid of these functions where ai is the bias associated with visible layer bi and these are the connection weights and these are the hidden units associated directly associated with bi and which satisfies this condition these two conditional probabilities are generally used as a give sampling for weight calculation after applying the positive and negative phases that is updating the weights of all hidden units and visible units we update these weights to update these weights we use this formula the updated weight of wij is equal to initial weight of wij l is the learning rate and positive eij is the positive statistics for h eij which is nothing but this weight update similarly negative eij is the negative statistics for the h eij it is status of the hidden unit calculated by using negative h we generally repeat the process 
given in step 2 to step 4 until we get some threshold accuracy in all weights by based on the training algorithm given here let us start our deep belief network greedy training with first stack of rbm for this we use the first step to initialize the training data set for this we use the record given for person p1 based on the fields given here we have taken three visible units p1 v2 and v3 and similarly based on the classes given here we have taken two hidden units h1 and h2 uh, represented at h11 and h12 here h1 represents all the hidden layer similarly we have some bias here bias a1 is attached with v1 bias a2 is attached with v2 bias a3 is attached with v3 similarly bias p1 is attached with h11 bias b2 is attached with h12 all the values are 0 0.2 w11 represents the weight between v1 and h11 w21 represents the weight between v2 and h11 initially we have taken all such weights as 0 0.5 now the next step to apply the positive edge in the positive edge we will update the weight of all hidden units after that we will apply negative edge to update the weight of these units so now let us apply the positive edge to update the weight of h11 here conditional probability of h11 is equal to 1 given v can be calculated by using sigmoid of this expression where bj is equal to 0 is a bias attached with h11 and its value is 0 0.2 similarly we will consider all the connections towards h1 like w11 through v1 w21 through v2 and w31 through v3 but according to the condition h11 equal to 1 this weight will be equal to 0 so for the rest of the part it will be equal to 0 0.5 into 1 as given in the table here and similarly it will be again equal to 0 0.5 into 1 so the entire calculation will be will be sigmoid of 1.2 which is equal to 0 0.7685 similarly we can update the weight of h12 for this we calculate the conditional probability of h12 equal to 1 given b by using sigmoid of this equation here b2 is equal to 0 0.2 as uh, for this uh, part we already know that b1 is related to outdoor game and b2 is related to outdoor game but h2 represents the class of indoor game so h12 is equal to 1 for used in conditional probability will so all the weights coming through this and this nodes will be equal to 0 so In this case these two weights will be equal to 0 and this weight will be equal to 0 0.5 into 1 this is the initial value we already taken and this is 1 so this will be sigmoid of 0 0.7 and final outcome will be 0 0.6681 similarly we can apply the negative phase to update the weight of all visible layers
here we can update the weight of visible layer b1 by using the conditional probability of b1 equal to 1 given h1 by using sigmoid of this equation which can be explained by this where a1 is the bias attached with b1 which equal to 0 0.2 w11 is 0 0.5 H11 that we already calculated here is 0 0.7685 this part will be equal to 0 as when we see this connection then we can see that for p v1 equal to 1 given h this part will not add any value to this node as it represents indoor game so this part will be equal to 0 and after calculation we will get this value similarly we can update the weight of v2 Finally, we will update the weight of V3. Now, to update the weight of V3, we will consider these two connections. First is W32 coming from H12 and W31 coming from H1. But uh, as we know earlier that this represents outdoor game so it will not satisfy this condition and so this equation this weight will be equal to 0 so we will calculate both where a3 is the bias attached with v3 so and its value is already given 0 0.2 w32 is 0 0.5 and we already calculated here ph12 equal to 1 given v is 0 0.6681 so we will put this value here and our final sigmoid value will be equal to this after that we will go through the final stage to update the weight of all associated weights so now let us update the weight of w11 based on this formula it will be the initial weight of w11 l is the learning rate that we have taken 0 0.5 initial weight of w11 was given as 0 0.5 and uh, this is calculated here is 0 0.7685 you can see here the calculated weight here similarly negative eij which is pv1 probability of uh, conditional probability of v1 equal to 1 given h1 and it is calculated here like zero point six four two zero. So the updated weight of W11 is zero point five six three two. Similarly, we can update the weight of W12, W13, W21, W22, and W23. We will repeat the same process several times until we get some thresholds or optimal weight of all these connections w12 w13 so after several iterations we got uh, these final weights with these updates of h12 conditional probability of h12 is equal to 1 given v and h11 sorry h11 given v and h12 given v and these are the weight updates now we are eligible to add another RBM stack. So adding another RBM stack over this RBM. For this we will first of all we will freeze this. 